hello guys welcome to tech mode and in this tutorial what we are going to learn how you can install Jenkins on a local machine as well as we are going to create a freestyle project in Jenkins that can run a simple command command that we would we will give it to him and what we are going to do is that we will be basically making those making a run a con docker container that will run a Jenkins so you don't have to worry about to install Jenkins and all a docker container will take care of that so let's I'm very excited to show you let's get started so th the basic question is what is Jenkins so Jenkins as you can see on see on their website it's a Jenkins.io uh, it's a basically they are saying that build great things at great scale but exactly what they wanted to, to tell you is that so for example uh, right now suppose I have a simple try a simple script that I wanted to run after a certain time for example daily basis a certain kind of testing and all so what I can do is that Jenkins can help me I, cre I can create a freestyle project that that will run but at a particular schedule and suppose I have another another a github project where I whenever I try to commit something I have to build certain things so Jenkins can help me out with it so overall I can say Jenkins is basically a continuous integration tool that will help you that will basically allow you to automate your process and it's going to, going to help you at a large scale so if you are new to it please understand it and it's a very very powerful tool Jenkins and it will solve you lots of lots of problem so let, uh, let us understand how you can install it and run it on your local machine so first of all the first requirement I would say is you have to install Java JDK so you can go to this link I will show you let me so this is the Java is Java JDK 8 page where you can download according to your OS version I have a Mac so I have already installed DMG file and if you have a Windows machine and all you can just go to for 64 bit as well as for 34 bit and you just install it. it's very it's the basic instructions of, of installing JDK so uh, after installing you have to go to the Jenkins.io this is a website basically and you can just you have to just download the WAR file what you can do is that you can download this it's this also where it will uh, basically download a package file for a Mac as and a exe file for a Windows what it uh, uh, exactly it will do is that it will basically uh, put the Jenkins in your uh, op, in your folder where Jenkins will automatically run at startup at a port of port of 8080 but we don't want it to run automatically but if you think about a large scale and all you have to do it in that way but right now what we can do is that we will use a Java to run a, our var file so la, download the var, var file in a folder and let's move on to the command line so I have a I have a jar, uh, var file here and what I have to do is that I have to type Java minus jar and this file so when I hit enter it's basically going to launch Jen my Jenkins instance on a local host port 8080 so let's move out to our browser and open local host 8080 and in a meanwhile you will say Jenkins will be running in this so let's see in the command line is saying certain things and all and as you can see the Jenkins is loading here and so this is so this is a staff setup process basically what we have to do is that uh, first of all you have to tell Jenkins that there is a particular secret key and you have access to those keys and all so it's saying that your key is this one please use this as a password and if you uh, I click this enable auto refresh I want Jenkins to auto refresh after a certain time and I, I can just go paste the this key into and continue and if you wanted to see this key you can just uh, go to this directory and do it but in the command line mode it will basically automatically will give you that thing so the second second thing will be basically the plugins part the hit it is where the Jenkins is more powerful it has a plugins for github node everything and all so you can install it so uh, I will give it uh, so you can go install the suggested plugins but I will go with the select the plugins and I will not select anything at all 
I'll say. I'll say none. And because uh, we are right now doing a basic installation and we are much, pretty much interested in freestyle project. So I'll say, and it will take a time, I will say. Lots of plugins will be installed for GitHub, Node, okay, and all. But we don't want right now. We'll install later after that. So I'll say install. And it will just uh, give me how to create a pass username and password. Right now I'm just using admin admin to my password and I'll say admin and I will just save and finish. And it's saying Jenkins is ready. So right so now I have a Jenkins ready. As you can see here, we have a left a left panel where you can see new create a new item. You can see how many people that you can sh uh, basically it's a kind of a team member if you want to add uh, another team member to see Jenkins and all. You can see build history, you can manage the Jenkins. It is where you can install your plugins, uh, passwords and lots of other things. You can access the G Jenkins CLI and all. But we are much interested in this thing that is the plugin part as well as the configuring the system. But right now what I'm going to do is that I click this icon, click icon and I'll create a new job. New job for it. So my job will be say hello and it will be a freestyle project so I will click on OK and it will create a job for me so what exactly is the job here is that uh, I have a description also say hello and this job what exactly it will do is that after a uh, five minute it will say say hello again and again so kind of scheduling task you can say so in the journal field I will not anything source codes management I don't have any kind of source right now and it's saying build trigger so when you want to, to run this script you can trigger at anything I mean for example trigger builds remotely whenever you do a particular request uh, build after a certain project is built for example you have multiple projects and if you want to, to build after one by one and one and bid periodically as well as pull SCM. So bid periodically basically is kind of a scheduling if you want to run for 15 minute, 10 minute and, and after. And poll SCM is a basically, it will just uh, poll the source con uh, sub version control system and continuously if you, whenever a particular person commits, it will automatically build this. So uh, we will go with the periodically and I will say if you are not able to understand, just click on this question mark and it will give you an example how you can use it. So here is an example where it will be doing for 15 minutes. So I'll copy this and paste it. So it will say to me that uh, it will be run after 5 minutes. You can see after 158, 15 minutes, sorry. So I'll make it to 5 or make it to 1 actually to see. Okay not exactly it's become r actually so i will say 59 okay so i'll say 2 let's see so yeah so it will be saying that okay uh it uh, will be running at this time and right now it will run to the same time so it's giving me again the same so i'll say 10 okay so it's saying that it will run on 48 and there is a difference of 10 minutes right so i'll say one so one becomes r actually so if it is 60 minutes let's say so it's at 60 minutes right now so let's say to for 15 minutes i'll say i'll go with the 15 minutes and i'm assuming that it will do so after that, it's saying that uh, what what is what is your build step? So I'll say execute a shell script, and this script will basically echo out, "Hi, hello, from hello, just hello, okay." And I'll say post build action. I don't want right now, but if you wanted to do, for example, if you want to mail certain things certain kind of reports are generated in your project you can so do that so i'll say apply and save so now you have a job running so what you can do is that you can just click on build now so to, to show your first build will be and you can go to console put and see what is so i have echo out the hello and it's push me hello
so if you can see i have basically after 15 15 its second will be done and second time it's saying you can see go to the console output is again hello so builds so this is basically continuous integration where automatically the builds are getting built after 15 minutes and minutes and all and if you want so this is the first freestyle project that you have made in jenkins so best part let me give you this is the bad best part where this so right now i have a jenkins in local i cannot share with everyone right now right and and it's very heavy for example i don't want it to, to install it my machine i wanted to install it in container where everything was installed and i just wanted to share it with my colleagues and all so what how i can exactly use do is that i'll use i'm sorry yeah so i will use a joke docker file uh, docker so let let's let's move on to the docker now right uh here so docker is a basically as you can see in their tab in your in their tagline it they are saying that we are the biggest uh, leading software container platform so what is a container right it's that it's a basically kind of you can say it's small os or a virtual machine where everything that you require to install it's already installed for example suppose i have an image of ubuntu and it will have all the flavors all the features of ubuntu right now and suppose i have a container where uh, my testing requirement was to install uh, node.js java sdk and all and everything that image will contain automatically so you don't have to worry about it and you for if you wanted to run something you can just directly run it so uh if you wanted to read more about docker you can just go to docker what is docker and all and you can just uh get the docker file here with the mac and all so i have already docker installed so i i'll just run it as you can see uh here the little veil is starting up and if you click on it it's just saying that i am starting and with the docker you will get a uh, command line tool also its name is kitematic yeah and so what you can do first of all you have to log in with the docker username and password you can sign up it's very it's free and search for jenkins so if i click on new and search here for jenkins i have already installed the jenkins right now and it will automatically download for you so what you guys you guys can do is that you just start it and the same thing that has happened here will be done and it will be in the docker machine docker as a docker container so you can share with your so what you can do is that you just uh if you had a certain kind of volumes so this is this is the volume that is shared with me my jenkins where home is shared with the, the docker machine right now so i will take a backup of this one and share with my friend and they have the similar jobs right so you can understand for example i have a 10 jobs in the jenkins and they will have the same jobs and they can run with them also so no dependency and all docker is very powerful tool here so uh this was a very pretty much basic about the jenkins and docker in the next session i will be covering how you can do with github and how you can pass parameter and all in the jenkins and all so stay tuned and check out my other tutorials regarding uh, api testing ui testing and let me know what kind of the, uh, what kind of doubts you have and if you want more details about it or not thank you guys and please like share and comment and Thank you.